truly lisa p super agent where are you with it shout out to my instagram fam peace inner joy inner joy love you tamika so we are continuing our series from shift your thinking we are now on episode 37 this is so powerful this is so powerful so if you're new to the show we are transforming our inner experience but 13 minutes of our day into a phenomenal outer experience and we do this every week and we'll do this every week until we complete this book which has 200 ways to improve our lives so yes yes so this is going to be a great, great topic. I am calling it, oh, let's see. I'm calling it Knock Knock. Who is it? <laughs> knock Knock, who is it? I'm calling it Knock Knock, who is it? And if you are following me in the book, this is the section called The Mark of a Great Conver Conversationalist is Found in More Question Marks. Knock, knock, who is it? You know, um, that popped in my head because you know when you have kids and they want to ask you these jokes or they ask you questions all the time. I know my son and I've worked with children the special needs, and they tend to um, ask questions. So that is why I'm thinking, knock, knock, who is it? And we need to be babes in this. Get back to that place where we're asking the questions, asking the questions, because that's how we learn if we're asking the questions. So how well we communicate with others is the single most important factor to our progress in every area of life. It's so funny because, oh, this is going to be so good because I just had a conversation with someone about this. <laughs> like, how do you ask? When do you ask? And there's true, it's truly in asking. Conversations are the precedence of all things. Yes the engine of life and relationships. See, the engine of life and relationships because we're in relationship with everything and everyone. However, much of our communication resembles that of a radio where the tuning is from slightly off to full blown static, mainly because we are talking nervously rather than inquiring diligently and responding appropriately. Isa difference, hashtag Isa difference, right? So either we're talking nervously or we're in, instead of inquiring diligently and responding appropriately, watch the tones, speak from your place of truth. Uh, and, and that's where you can check all the nervousness because you remember, you know, remind yourself, I'm speaking my truth. I'm coming from a place of authenticity. Nothing to be nervous about. 
worst case scenario, they say no or they don't agree. You can play that out too. I play that out all the time, especially because I negotiate. So I have to think of more than one possibility of people accepting or agreeing what I want. Oh, so th see, again, this goes hand in hand with episode 36 where we talked about that. So uh, check that out on the archives. This is good. It's all about a fact that everyone would like to be better Yes, more strategic communicator to be able to say things to others that resonates. There it, there it is. Move things forward, improve relationships, make life easier and more enjoyable. And it is truly an art. That's why we talked about this at, at last week. And we continue to see the theme in these episodes, the art of communication. And that comes with skill and practice, which is why I'm so happy we're doing this every week. It's not a, a typical read because I have tons of books that I read and oftentimes I can finish them in a week. But it's not your typical where you read this book or we read a section and then we're going on to the next. We are giving ourselves time to digest it, digest it, take this in the art of communication. So here we are, knock, knock, who is it? Asking questions so that we are better communicating. We're being more strategic and we're diligently inquiring and that person gets to resonate with the message. The author continues and he says, but becoming a master of, converse, of conversation has little to do with making brilliant statements every time we engage with others. So here's what's so funny, because my son and I this morning, we have like this routine. <laughs> Thank you, Shades of Business. <laughs> we have a routine where uh, it, it, it's not, a, I'll soon break this routine. We'll f I'll figure out a better way of getting him up in the morning. And it's over his clothes. It's always, there's always some issue with clothes. And so I have to remind myself that, you know, I can I can up and go and move and I have to remind myself of how I'm communicating with him. He's six. And so right now he's at that stage, y'all, where I say something and he wants to say something back. Just like this. It has little to do with making brilliant statements every time we engage with others. So he's mimicking me every time I say something. He's got something to say but that's not the art of communicating. <laughs> oh, thank you for the love. So again, we're, we're reminding ourselves, let's take this in and let's inquire and let's watch our tone. We too have to check our attitudes and when we are asking and we're communicating. So knock, knock, who is it? Because eventually when we keep asking questions that other person uh, starts to get annoyed sometimes, right? And it depends because when we find, and I know, I know when we find that when we ask more questions, that's when we are unwrapping the layer, the layers of truth. Because sometimes people are not always in their truth when we're commu when when they're communicating with us. I think there's a, there's a statistic, some type of survey that went out that. Um, Nine times out of 10 things people say is a lie or something like that. That's pretty extreme. So now you, you mean to say that somebody's fumbling the truth at that ratio, everything. But that goes back to because we want to be great storytellers. We want to be great storytellers. We inflate the story or the experience or what someone else, how they responded, what they said. So... Again, this is why this is fun for me, because I get to practice all those techniques and communication. The author continues and he says, most of us aren't that smart or that quick, nor do we have enough life experience or skill to be able to speak our way into favor in all circumstances. So let's build right there, because that goes hand in hand with what I just said. Nine out of 10 things that come out of our mouth is finagled. It's, it's, uh, it's not all truth. So why is that? Because he says, let's keep it real. Not, not everyone is smart or sharp. 
And we talked about this in the last episode, iron sharpens iron. So when we're inquiring diligently, right? And, and this is what I shared, I think it was episode 33. I just reposted it. Um, when we're talking about uh, communication and not everything you say or how you say just because you're high in pitch, your voice goes up, does that mean you're communicating? No, it just means you might be yelling or you're um, emotionally charged. We talk about that. So when we're talking about the art of communication, we're tapping into emotional intelligence, emotional quotient, where you have to identify the emotions that you are experiencing in that conversation or with that person. Because remember too, the people we are engaging with also trigger something in us. Mm. Their energies will trigger something in us. And so when you feel like, oh, why do I feel like this, right? Because here, here it is again, Science says that the heart, the electromagnetic waves that comes from the heart is 50 times more stronger than the brain, than what the brain says. So for those of you who are exploring, uh, following my heart or following my mind, mind over body, you know, heart over mind, your heart is the most powerful one. And how how does this resonate? And, and I'm going to shout out this book called DNA and the Law of Resonance. Fantastic book. How does this apply? You ever pay attention when someone walks into the room and their whole energy can shift a room? They can either brighten up a room or people go, oh, oh, yeah, not that one. Or you say, I'm gonna go over here. That is coming from their heart, their energy, the aura. And it's 50 times more stronger than what the brain is sending out. So yes, Woo okay, see, I try, I'm gonna try to keep this short, but I'm, see how this, how we can go deep into communication, energy. This is what it is, emotional quotient. And this is, what, this is a consistent theme with when we do this, shift your thinking. That's what Shift Your Thinking Tuesdays is about. Where are we communicating from? Knock, knock, who is it? And I say that because, the more questions you ask someone, the more revealing of that person. So the more I ask, knock, knock, who is it? The more I get to unravel who you truly are. Because if you're speaking from a place of truth, what you say that comes out of your mouth will resonate consistently, consistently, and it'll go deeper and deeper rather than you trying to search and I'm not even going to give ways of techniques of how you can determine. <laughs> well, I will at the end. I'll, I'll show you how you can actually determine. It's body language. 90% uh, uh, of what we say is actually coming from our body. 10% is our mouth. But again, DNA law of resonance. Truth is coming from our hearts. Heart chakras. Woo, I'm feeling fired up. I'm feeling fired up right now. All right. So we figured out. Uh, not every time you say something is it a brilliant statement. And does that determine that you're pre you're engaging? No, not every time you say something or someone say something, you have to say something back. Uh, digest, practice the words. I receive it. I receive it. I did that for a whole couple of years in my life. And it has changed my life when I started to say I receive it because I was triggering my mind to process it, process it, take this in. All right. What makes a conversationalist brilliant is asking great questions. Okay. You said not just any questions. Don't, don't do it just to kind of jab at people. <laughs> great questions, which he says is a learned skill. Questions are safe. I like that word. Oh, I like that word, especially when I'm sharing with you about the dynamic of personal relationships, that intimate relationship, because um, again, uh, we go back to, I did this episode where we're talking about when we're communicating with men, creating a safe space for them to share with you, to share with you. It is safe space because they're processing so many things when they set foot out the, out the, out the door and their world is far different than what you're experiencing as a woman. Don't ever try to assume you can try to be em empathetic, 
but their experience, their whole design, and I just, it's so different. They are designed so differently. And so it's important that we're creating a safe space that they'll be able to share with us with no judgment. It's not always about you or what you think or how you feel. It's about them at that moment when they're sharing create the safe space and encourage that so that they will come back and share more. Don't you want them to share with you? Yes. Don't you want that to be a safe haven? Yes. Don't you want them to trust you? Yes. Don't you want them to respect you? Yes. (laughs) I'll tell you, safe space, safe space. Questions are safe. They create insight. Again, we're going deeper. We're going deeper and they uncomplicate and improve conversations. Listen to that. They uncomplicate. So think about when you are creating the questions. Again, a learned skill. This is why we practice this. Create the safe space where you're making sure you get to dive deeper and and it's insightful and it's improving the conversation, which means I get to share, you get to share and we're learning together. Oh, this is good. And he says that happens instantly. So practice, I receive it. Now, okay, you go listen, right? When we talk, and and, and I've shared this, right? And we all them two ears, one mouth, listening two times more than you're speaking. He says, it's also amazing how much more interesting people find you when you ask meaningful questions. (gasps) Oh my gosh. And there's always gifts to be found in great questions. So I leave you with this. Let us take the time to ask meaningful questions. Oh, this was a powerful one, short, sweet, and simple. Again, thank you for joining me on Shift Your Thinking Tuesdays, where we transform our inner experience to a phenomenal outer experience for 13 minutes. Be sure to subscribe on the radio podcast because this is a bonus episode on Re- on Ready Set Real Estate and connect, build, and share with me on all social media at LA Super Agent. Thanks, you guys. Love you, love you, love you.